Anyway, one more thing I'm going to tell you about Norm because we're going to get it into, in it, into it later. I told Norm the last time, this last, last year I went to the UFO Expo and, uh, well, I'll tell you, got some good information. Uh, but anyway, I went to see Norm and uh, he's not well and uh, he's had several surgeries and uh, I, I expect any day to hear that, that uh, he's passed away. He's 87. And uh, I said, Norm, <clears throat> I said, uh, I'm thinking that uh, that the uh, airplanes that crashed into the World Trade Center were uh, holographs. And uh, he said, John, you're probably right. And here's why. He said, just before I retired, I was driving down from on the Bayshore Freeway um, to Sunnyvale. And he said, I had a friend in the uh, right seat of the car. And he says, it's like it was about eight o'clock in the morning, maybe 8.15. He said, we're driving south, and we saw this shadow, and we looked up, and here, he says, it wasn't a 747, but it was a huge four-engine airplane. It wasn't 200 feet above us. And he said, we looked out, and it looked at this thing, and he said, of course, we're, you know, 20 miles from San Jose, you know, and 30 miles from San Francisco. There's no possible way an airplane could, you know, legitimately be <laughs> flying right there. And he says, we watched it for about 10 seconds, and it went, just not, just like you turned the light bulb out, and he said. So he said that if that was a contemporary uh, holograph uh, presentation of a holograph, he says, then you're right. And uh, oh, you know, the holograph, the holographic um, technology is so far advanced uh, that people just wouldn't believe it. But the other day, I had a lady here that was helping uh, Merrily on a casting um, program. Actually, she hired Merrily. She was from New York. She had two degrees from uh, Harvard. She was just a wonderful, smart, receptive lady. And we were talking about holographs. She says, well, let me tell you. She said, about five years ago, I was invited with about 15 other television executives uh, into a private showing uh, in Hollywood. And there was a, you know, a little auditorium. It wasn't very big. It could seat like maybe 30 people. And uh, it was called... The presentation was called The Future of Television. And she said, uh, I don't remember if Steven Spielberg was there, but you know, everybody else was. And she said it was, you know, brightly lit. And uh, there was a, a, a stage and a podium on the stage. And we're sitting there and, and this guy comes out from uh, behind and he's a kind of uh, 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 East German accent, uh, East European accent white hair, has glasses, and he comes out and he starts telling us the history of television and how they um, came up with the first uh, first uh, cathode ray tube and how they did this and how they did this. And, you know, he uh, walks down in front of the stage, you know, walks up one of the aisles, he's polishing his glasses, you know, walks in front of walks back up to the stage, you know, and she says, it was pretty boring. She says after about 20 minutes, he wraps it up with something, you know, and that's the history of television. You know, he puts his glasses on and just like a light. He disappeared? <laughs> he was <laughs> and, a hologram? Yeah. And oh, so, wow. you know, that was seven years ago. So that's what television is coming to is you won't have a screen. Right. You'll just turn it on and, and it'll be happening right there. It's right there.